What's going on, y'all? Machiavelli Mills TV. So look, y'all, rapper Young Jeezy, a.k.a. Jeezy, has filed for divorce from his from his wife, Jeannie Mai. Uh, I know Jeannie Mai from being on the show The Real with Tamara Mari, right? Uh, I think the yeah, Tamar Braxton was on there, etc. When I saw this, y'all, I really was like, wow, because Jeezy filed for divorce. When a man files for divorce, he is extremely unhappy. He is at his wit's end, and he can't take that shit no more. It got to end. It just is rubbing him the wrong way. The whole situation, he has to remove himself from it because he just can't handle it at all. He done, right? Again, a man got to be extremely unhappy to file for divorce. Most men, even when they unhappy, when they don't like what's going on, a lot of the men just going to cheat. Several, they're going to cheat a million times before they leave. For real. And there's going to be a lot of dudes that's just going to do that. They, instead of leaving, especially a marriage, most dudes don't file for their divorce. They're going to just they gonna just cheat or whatever and do their own thing before they just file for divorce. He filing for divorce lets me know he can't be here and he can't be in that situation any longer. Right? And to be honest, we're seeing divorces happen a lot in society nowadays. We see it among celebrities, amongst common everyday people. And the reality is... Marriage can be hard at times, from what I heard, right? I've heard this from people that I know who've been married, who've remarried, so on and so forth, or people who've had trouble in their marriage and worked it out and stayed together. From what I hear, it can be really hard. When the high of the honeymoon phase starts to die down, and now y'all left to recognize or y'all left to see, see that y'all don't have much in common like that, besides being attracted to each other, right? And I think that may have been a situation in this relationship with this marriage with Jeannie Mai and Jeezy. They saw each other. They were they were attracted to each other. They were attracted to each other's aura and each other's energy. But they probably really didn't have that much in common, right? And I'm only speculating this. I don't know. That's why I'm making a video. I make content based off sometimes a lot of times based off facts. Sometimes it's based off opinion, right? But I'm trying to really wonder what can a dude, uh, an American rapper who used to sell drugs, right, from Atlanta, a black man from Georgia. From the state of Georgia, what can he have in common with, how much can he have in common with a woman, with Jeannie Mai, who's a talk show host, uh, Asian woman who came up from a completely different background than Jeezy. She wasn't with dudes who sold drugs and ingratiated like that. I don't think in black culture that heavily like that. And previously she was married to a white man. So I don't know like what, what, and then even just seeing the differences in their demeanor, not even just racial stuff and uh cultural differences or uh, backgrounds. Jeezy seems to be a very private, laid back and calm individual. Jeannie Mai seems to, sh I mean, she's a talk show host and she's been known to share, share a lot of her personal life on TV. She shares a lot of her private life on TV for people to hear about, uh, ultimately because it's her job and also just because she's just that type of person who likes to give up the type of information and talk to the world about what's going on in her life. Jeezy's been very private about his past relationships. He's been very private about uh, his oldest son, so on and so forth. So it's a different thing for him to be doing, and like I guess being with somebody who's so uh, public with a lot of different things, right? Um, then we recently hear that Jeannie Mai came out not too long ago saying that she had a temper issue, and Jeezy made her recognize that, right? That she had a temper issue, and she's recognized she has a temper problem. And see, I think a lot of people don't realize because we black, right? We don't, especially you from Chicago or some of these other places where you don't really communicate with Asian women uh, often, right? I've been known, I've been, I've been told, especially my boy Melvin, my boy Melvin live in Hawaii around a lot of Asian women. He's told me a lot of Asian women have strong personalities, very strong personalities. They're very opinionated. They're very strong minded. They are hard to sway on things. You cannot sway them. A lot of times, in a lot of relationship dynamics, the women be running the show. A lot of the Asian women, even they be weren't running the show. A lot of times, running their husband, and that's just how it be going. A lot of times in those in a lot of the uh, in Asian cultures within the marriage, the woman is the most opinionated person in the household, and she sometimes a lot of times she has the strongest personality, while the dad is more laid back and chill. You know, and also in Asian culture, a lot of the in-laws live with the family. The black community, we're not used to that at all. We don't, a lot of black people don't, they'll be, they would probably, I'm talking about cringe, 
fall fall out, pass out on the floor at the thought of their in-laws living with them. They couldn't, boy, they couldn't handle no stuff like that. That's, that shit is foreign to black people. You know, I don't know, Jeannie Mai is really close with her mother. Her mother's always on camera, so on and so forth, and all those type of things. So, you know, you, you just never know. Like, how they, her mom seems to be probably over the house a lot, or if, if she's not living with them. So a lot of that could have been a, something that could have made them clash a little bit. The cultural differences. differences. And again, a lot of black men don't realize things about women of other ethnicities because we're not around them a whole lot. And, well, I can't speak for everybody else. Me, myself, I didn't get around Asian people until I got to college. Not even at my HBCU. I'm talking about at the predominantly white institution that I went to for grad school, Arkansas State. You know what I mean? That's the first time I really really was around Asian people consistently. You know, but, and, and my boy Melvin, when he moved to Hawaii. But those cultural differences, they can play a part in people clashing. Because... What you do and what you're accustomed to doing in your life and your culture can be completely different than what the other person does. Sometimes, especially when the person has children, right? They had they have a child now. Sometimes, probably the Asian culture wants them to be raised in Asian culture, raised in Asian religion, so on and so forth. Black black folks like, no, she's gonna be this religion. She gonna do this. The baby gonna do this. Gonna do that. So on and so forth. The baby ain't gonna do this. The baby ain't gonna do that. Baby ain't gonna be participating in this. And the Asians culture might be like, nah, the baby gonna do this. The baby gonna do that. The baby ain't gonna do this. So it's clashes, man, because them cultures are so different, you know. And I'm again, I don't know if that's the reason why they divorce him, but it could be speculation. And I'm not gonna even lie, y'all. I can't lie and think that when I saw this clip, uh, I mean, saw this uh, footage, not footage. When I saw this headline of Jeezy divorcing Jeannie Mai, I couldn't help but think about that joke, the joke she made a few years ago on The Real. While she was on her show, The Real, she was talking about her preference in, in men, preference in the men she dated and so on and so forth. And she admitted that she used to date, you know, and she's really attracted to black guys. But then she said, for me, it's dark meat on the side. White keeps me mean and lean. Again, she said, for me, it's dark meat on the side and white keeps me mean and lean, you know? She said, I married a white man. That's what I like. Off of hearing her say that, I promise y'all there's no way I would have been able to take that woman serious and be married to her. There's no way. She could have been just joking all she wants to, but I hear that loud and clear. As a black man, I'm aware that there are women who are non-black who have a fetish for black men. They fetishize, fetishize black men. Seriously. They have this dream about the big, long penis that black men got. They want to see what it's like to be with a black man with the big mandingo <laughs> strapping bull to be with them. They like the black culture, the black the rap music. They want to see what it's like to be with a man who could potentially be uh, a, a person who they can see on Love and Hip Hop. All of that. Because my boy Melvin tell me out there in Hawaii, them people, they love uh, Love and Hip Hop more than black folks do. They love that and they, they have that expectation. A lot of them be thinking that black men act like them dudes on Love and Hip Hop. That black people act like that and function like that, right? And so, yeah, they, they have a fetish for seeing a dude, for, for being with black men. Oh, my God, just a black guy. You don't got to be attractive. You don't got to be looking like goddamn uh, Michael B. Jordan. You don't got to look like whoever, I don't know, whoever some, a black dude that women, you don't got to look like Usher Raymond. You don't got to look like nothing like that. You can look like Flavor Flav. As long as you black, <laughs> that's enough. That's why I say black men be all, that's a lot of black. And again, I don't fault nobody. You date who you want to date, marry who you want to marry. You know what I'm saying? I don't get mad at nobody for having a a, a spouse that, that is of a different ethnicity or nothing like that. My thing is, is black men who think that, it's some black men who think that they just doing they doing wonders because they got a foreign girl, a non-black girl, and think that because they got a non-black girl that, you know, they just some type of exclusive. They're in, they're in some exclusive club or some shit like that. I know black dudes that think that I got me a foreign girl. I got me a joint. Like, you can have you a woman who is not black, and that's perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine. You got you a non-black woman, right? But my thing is thinking that you just a special breed to have a non-black woman. You just a special kind. You're a special pedigree to have a non-black woman. Bro, a lot of them non-black women, you ain't got to do nothing. So that's why I say I don't really be impressed with dudes when they when they just be pulling a whole bunch of non-black girls left and right because a lot of times I know a lot of non-black women fetishize black men. So you you can look like Flavor Flav. 
You can have nothing. You don't got to have too much going for yourself. You don't got to be looking like nothing. Your haircut look like your mama put the bowl over the top of your head and, and cut around your haircut like that. Your hair can be cut like that. They don't give a damn. As long as you black and you got a penis, it's good to go. Because they want that experience. They want to say they've been with a black man. They want to say they've, they've been able to do that and all that. So, yeah, man, when I hear her say that dark meat on the side, white keeps me mean and lean, you know? I think about, yeah, you might have had a fetish for black men. You like the way black men look. You, you know, you're attracted to the physical features. You've always had these thoughts and desires of being with a black man sexually. But do you really like black men for real enough to love them? You know what I mean? Like, to a lot of black, to a lot of, not, to a lot of non-black men, uh, women, to a lot of non-black women, black men are a novelty. Just something they can have and fetishize almost like, almost like a damn exotic pet. Like Aerie Spears say, black, <laughs> crazy, crazy black men like Dennis Rodman. Look at all them uh, non-black women Dennis Rodman was, Dennis Rodman was pulling. He ain't pulling no sisters like that. That crazy ass shit he was doing. Piercings all over his goddamn face. Shit all in his head, all his dial in his head and all of that. Cause to so non-black women, they see a, a big tall ass black man. And they just that's and got all these piercings. He's a freaking exotic pet to them. Oh my god, I can I touch him? Can I rub him? Can I be around him? That type of thing, man. And even it's not it's non-black women who fetishize hood dudes with a street background and a street aura like Jeezy. You know, there's a difference between love and a fetish. But Jeezy rolled out the red carpet for her, and she was all merry with it because he was attracted to her aura. He liked her. She's a, she's an attractive woman. I'm not gonna lie, she is right. And she was attracted. She, she was attracted to him, and that was enough. Had my man Jeezy donating all type of funds to the Asian community and everything. The proceed the proceeds from the from the wedding went to the Asian community, Asian Asian causes, and all of that because he was like, hey, this woman fine. I like her, right? But yeah, man, I think uh, cultural differences, they rear its ugly head after you come down from the high of being in a honeymoon phase. Also, man, I think sometimes having children, it can either add beauty to the relationship or it can make it turn sour. Children can bring problems with, again, with in-laws. The cultural issues arise uh, arrive when... You have a child and they want to know, should you be in this culture, this religion, all of that? Like I mentioned before, right? Arguments happen because people don't realize what their role in parenting is. You know, Jeezy is an artist who performs on the road. Jeezy might, might, may want him home more because they got a baby now. Or maybe Jeezy ain't helping out with the baby like that. Or maybe he feel like, man, your parents over here every single day of every hour because we got this baby now. They don't want to go home. You don't want to... um. Tell them, hey, you know, can they let y'all? You don't want to uh, basically create a boundary with the parents, all of that. Like, it could have been several things, and, and, and parenting brings, brings those type of situations, you know? And, and parenting can make people feel like the arguments happen because it's like, your time with the baby, your time with the baby. You know, one person may feel like they're doing more than the other parent, and it could be stressing them out. You know, so it's a lot of different things, man. But I think once that honeymoon phase died, died down, I think they realized they really didn't have that much in common. They got a lot of cultural differences, things that they couldn't agree upon. And then when the baby came, it could have been also clashes with that. Jeezy being on the road doing tours, trying to get money or doing performances. Because Jeezy ain't selling the records he used to, so he got to hit the road. Jeezy might like, we got this little baby here. Come be home with us. Could have created friction. You know, but one thing I do know is from looking at this situation, I know Jenny Ma's ex-husband is looking like, wow, G. Like, you remember my Flavor Flav used to be like, wow, G. I know you're looking at this crazy because I think Jenny Ma was with him for about 10 years. And they divorced because she ultimately did not want to give him children. And he wanted children. And I believe he has children now. You know what I mean? But it's funny. When she got with Jeezy, when she got with Jizzo, Jizzle. She got with him. She had a baby not too long after their flame was lit. After Jeezy and Jenny Mai's flame was lit, not too long after that, they had a little baby, got married, all of the above. You know, and so, but sometimes that's also due to the fact that you change your mind for certain people. You know, you being, you maybe, maybe you be infatuated with somebody so much, you want to have that baby with them, you want to do this and do that, with, and you may want to do stuff that you never wanted to do before. It could be, it could be a possibility. 
But I'm like, Jeezy found that divorce. He is done with it. Peace.